Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I'm going to show you a scheme that I thought up I, actually a while ago and I've thought about making a video uh, to demonstrate how it would work. Right now, uh, a transmit receive or TR switch is kind of an uncommon thing to find anymore. I, I remember my dad drove me out from Rochester, Minnesota to Wasika, Minnesota, E.F. Johnson Company, to purchase their TR switch, which makes it possible to use a single antenna with a separate receiver and transmitter. In my case, the receiver was a Drake R4A and the transmitter was a Drake T4X. And the antenna well, could have been any number of things. I think the, that usually it was either a dipole or a vertical antenna. Uh, the feed line shown right here between the TR switch and the antenna as well as the feed lines or the connecting lines between the TR switch and the transmitter and the TR switch and the receiver are coaxial cables, 52 ohm coax. This antenna might include a transmatch uh, in the line, but not necessarily. What the TR switch does is allow you to receive signals when you're not transmitting as normal without the transmitter causing any interaction with the antenna. But as soon as you transmit, the power from the transmitter will cause components in the TR switch to protect the receiver from the output signal of the transmitter. In effect, it will act as an electronic switch, switching the antenna from the receiver to the transmitter and away from the receiver during transmit so that you don't damage your receiver. But you can hear your transmitted signal in your receiver. That allows for full break-in operation. Uh, and uh, I, uh, my receiver at the time was a Drake R4A and the transmitter was a Drake T4X. And this was a great arrangement. It, it worked wonderfully. Uh, only up to about maybe a hundred or two hundred watts. I don't know how high the power rating of this thing went, but it was a little box. Uh, I don't know how big. It maybe three inches by three inches by five inches, and it had vacuum tubes. This was back in the uh, early 1970s. But that is the conventional use of a TR switch. TR, of course, meaning transmit, receive. It allows a single antenna to be used with a separate receiver and transmitter on CW or uh, single sideband, but generally CW, so that you can have full break-in operation. Nowadays, most transceivers provide full break-in operation. Um, like my ICOM IC746 Pro uh, and it has its own built-in TR switch, uh, receiver offset tuning, no need for the separate units. But I thought of something interesting. My QTH is an extremely noisy uh, location and receiving uh, on an antenna uh, on my vertical antenna which is mounted on the deck is a nightmare. Um, it's designed for the 14 megahertz band. However, uh, on all bands, but particularly 14 megahertz, the noise level is just horrendous, partly because uh, it's a high noise neighborhood, a lot of noisy appliances in the house, and that problem only seems to be increasing uh, with in general as time goes by and more consumer appliances make more and more 
RF noise. So to use a single antenna for transmitting and receiving, it works great for transmitting, particularly towards the southeast, uh, towards South America. It works pretty well out, out west towards Australia. And, uh, but uh, it, it can be a great DX antenna for transmitting, but it doesn't do much good if they can hear you and you can't hear them because of the S9, sometimes approaching S9, noise level. But suppose you decided to you to devise a TR switch that would do exactly the reverse uh, of a conventional TR switch. You would have your transceiver such as the IC746 Pro ICOM radio or any other transceiver uh, capable of, it doesn't necessarily have to be full break-in, but it, it would be nice. And then, instead of the receiver and the transmitter being separate, you have a separate transmitting antenna, such as the vertical I already have, and a receiving antenna, such as a loop stick or some other low noise directional type of antenna which wouldn't be any good for transmitting because of its small size but could be directed and could in incorporate a preamplifier so that uh, you would end up with uh, a noise cancelling antenna you could just aim the null at the primary direction of the noise so the this might be, say, a vertical. Verticals seem to be the worst at receiving noise, but in but when you're transmitting, uh, that's a, that's of no consequence. What matters when you transmit is that the signal get out. What matters when you receive is that the signal get in. So you might have a tuned ferrite core solenoidal loop stick antenna here and your transceiver here. Normally when you're receiving the loop stick goes through the TR switch straight to the transceiver and the transmitter doesn't interfere at all. These are still coaxial interconnections but as soon as you transmit this TR switch blocks the signal from the loop stick and its preamplifier thereby preventing damage to the loop stick or preamplifier and instead directs your transmitted signal to the transmitting antenna. So you have two separate antennas for a single radio rather than a single antenna for a separate receiver and transmitter. Exactly the reverse of the conventional use of a TR switch such as the old EF Johnson unit that my dad drove me out to Waseca, Minnesota to purchase somewhere around 1970. Just a thought. Uh, I haven't thought about how I would design such a unit yet, but it would be rather similar in design to, to the uh, E.F. Johnson device. Uh, it would just have to do the, you know, everything would be reversed. The, the transmitter receiver and the antenna uh, you'd use a transceiver rather than a separate transmitter and receiver and uh, that's all there is to it that's the idea just something to dream about on a such a winter's day it's about 40 degrees and brilliant sunshine today here in the black holes of Dakota Territory United States of antennas from where Stangibalisco W1 GV will say 73 and so long which on CW of course break in or no separate antennas or no always translates to da 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 da